Hey guys, this is John from John's Vintage Road Bike Garage. Uh, we are heading west at a very high rate of speed, and uh, we're heading to Paul's Vintage Bikes, and he has a storefront in Elizabeth, Illinois. Now that's, uh, uh, for me, it's about two hours west, which is uh, somewhat near Galena, Illinois. So I'm excited to see this thing, this collection. I hear it's pretty uh, outrageous, pretty large, and I love him because he makes me look sane. You know, I think I got, what, 54 bikes? So he's got a lot more in that. So, well, come along for the ride and uh, we'll check out this collection together. I do love small towns. Here we go, Elizabeth, Illinois. Beautiful little town. Check out this bicycle museum here. Let's check it out. Got some penny farlings. Man, I would be excited to ride those. I'd probably kill myself on it. This bike kind of stuck out to me. It looks like we have a fullest Titan. If I'm not mistaken, is this thing titanium? I'm looking for the proprietor here. I don't see Paul. I don't know Paul, actually. With another guest. That's pretty cool. You don't see that very often. It's a Chazzini. Never had one in my collection, guys, so you need to forgive me for my awful pronunciations. That's sharp. Well, right away, guys, my impression is I feel like a complete amateur. This is awesome. Look at this place. So much for my vintage garage. We have a vintage store. It's totally cool. A little bit of everything. Take a look through here. I'll highlight some bikes as I go through. Early Kestrel. Pretty fun. Vitus. Yes. There's bikes I've never seen before. Lots of them, actually. Nice Waterford. What a spread. What a spread. Absolutely crazy. So, is that a C40? I'm not even sure. Too modern for me? Or not new enough? Beautiful Conago. Oh, I've seen this with a split two. Split down two. Pretty cool. Check that out. What is that, a dream? Dream machine or something like that? Hold on. Another one here. Pretty sharp. Check that out. What is that, guys? Is that an old super? Supplies. What in the world? Let's see what we got here. That's a Bob Jackson. Look at that. That's an older Bob Jackson. That's pretty sharp. Sakai, Lotus, Kuahara. <laughs> Old Ross, that looks familiar. Wow. Yeah, this is, a lot of this is beyond me, guys. I'll be honest with you. Pretty sharp. Got some cool bikes here. There's a ton. I remember working on a couple of these back in the day. Can't be equipped. That is one, that's that's one on the want list there. I built a bunch of these back in the 80s when they first came out. That exact model. Oh yeah, there's, that's, that's a want bike. Beautiful Hetchins. Look at that, that looks like a 60s. It's pretty cool. Team Mayata from the later 80s, the indexing. Sen Rancho, pretty sharp. Auctioner, Ed Davidson. That's some cool stuff. All right, if I pronounce this for you, 
I don't know, people yell at me. Is it Gerciotti? Help me out, guys. Gerciotti? I always call it Gerciotti. Maybe it's a Gerciotti. I have this frame as well. This one's built up with the uh, with the uh, victory stuff or triumph. I have that built up with Campy at home, the Nova record. That's pretty cool. The key. This one, this one's sharp. Wow, what year is this from, guys? Check it out. Check out the crown. Got almost like a key cut lug. Really old leather saddle on there. Cotter cranks. Oh, that's a doozy. Wow, that's beautiful. That's sharp. I should be familiar with that one, and I'm not. I see him around, I just have not been inquisitive. Sanino. Wow, look at those brakes. This one's got a, a galley group on it. You don't see too many galley groups. I'm actually coveting a, a bike with this group on it. It's part of history. Pretty cool. Tala here, pretty sharp, chrome lugs on it. It's like a I'm familiar with this model, pretty cool. Torpado, see too many of those. Also, De Rosa. sure to destroy the uh, pronunciation of some of these bikes for your entertainment. Frahus. I just picked up my first one last year. That one's sharp. That is really sharp. It's been modified, as you can see. Got some Hillwood hubs and so. Got a chuch. Chuch. Choch. Chuch. Fiorelli, Chanelli, Masi. Wow, I'm an amateur, guys. Look at this collection. We've got a big collection of Viscounts. And all right, we've got the original death fork on some of these. Some have been modified. Most of these have a death fork on them. Oh, beautiful Peugeot. Looks like a, looks like mine. 72-ish PX10. What do you guys think? Some Peugeot. Competition GS. Super course. Body. Man. What are these bikes, guys? I never heard of. My ignorance is showing. Look at that. What do we got here? A pook. Quinton. If you don't know what Quinton is, Quinton was a local distributor in Chicago that made a house line of bicycles. Nothing special. Uh, Univega, Specialissima. I remember building those back in the day in a shop. Wow, all this stuff I never heard of. It's totally crazy. So we're getting some older Miatas here, a couple. Nothing high end. This is pretty cool. 912. 
Yeah, 912. I, I built a bunch of these back in the day, and actually, for the money, the 912 was one of the best Japanese steel bikes you could buy. They're stiff, they're responsive. This one, I think, has been modified. The 912 normally had a 600 group on it. Same thing with this Trek 610. 610 didn't have a camping group. This has been upgraded. This is sharp, though. They put a full camping group. And a bike that would have probably had some Suntour Superb on it. We've got ourselves a Mercier. Check this out. Check out the serrated steel rims. I haven't seen those in years. That helped the bike stop. Because they're steel. They didn't grip the pads very well. Beautiful paint job. Two-tone. Pretty sharp. I don't think that's original. <laughs> and uh, what do we got here? Yeah, this looks like what? Early 80s, maybe? It's got the ratchet shifters. Uh, AR derailleurs from maybe mid 80s. Pretty cool. Looks like we have another Hetchins here. I believe that's a Hetchins. Check out that four crown, guys. Look at that lug work. Gotta be a Hutchins. I see the, the nameplate here. Let's see if I can get up here. There we go. Rubberneck. I remember that. It's got a suicide shifter. Tour de France Red Derailleur. Pretty sharp. Some cool lug work. Some kind of button there. I don't know what that's for. Pretty sharp. What a rake on that fork, guys. Look at that. <laughs> That's pretty sharp. Beautiful stuff. Beautiful stuff. I got some Paramounts here, some chrome ones. Don't know the vintage here. Maybe I'll look at the serial numbers. But yeah, look at this. Without the, without the Nervex. So some Nervex logs. A lot of Paramounts here. Kind of went to town on that. Got a nice Waterford built one right here. Voyager 11 8. It's a classic. And some classic Schwinn's, basic. Got a circuit. Actually, very, very beautiful bike. Love the orange. Classic Schwinn color. Judging by the rear derailleur, this looks like a 60s version, but maybe it, uh, you let me know. It doesn't look totally, totally, yeah, it's not stock. I can see some parts have been moved around. CCM. And guys, it's not my stuff here, not my realm. But yeah, just some good vintage rust. Rust and wood. <laughs> Those rims need a good sanding. Now this was a Cannondale SM500. I built these up when they were brand new. The roller cam brakes, they're awesome. And uh, yeah, that one's built up just kind of with what they got. All right, now we're upstairs. Let's check it out. Oh, geez. Hello. Wow. Look at that presentation, guys. Now, I understand this is upstairs. It used to be an opera house. And the first section here is supposedly all Schwinn's. So you know, some of you people are uh, tuning out right now, but don't do that. Wait around a little bit. So even though know if this isn't your thing, I, mean, I could literally smell the, the Schwinn colors here. This is from my era when I ran a shop. And... Uh, yeah, a bunch of nice little basic bikes, but they're kind of cool and nostalgic. All of your Schwinn uh, Chicago bikes. You got your Sierra, which I never understood because it's basically a uh, varsity. Your Suburbans, uh, Super Sports. Those are actually pretty decent chromoly frames. Yeah, you got quite a mix here. Twin twins. 
Now here we got some vintage Raleigh's. Your Super Chorus. There's your GS. Super Chorus Mark II. Oh, he's got the whole selection here. Wonder if he has a Raleigh Intercourse. I don't know if, that, if you have that model here or not. Yeah, I got some classics. Pretty cool. And a Technium. Just a. Oh, I got some classic mountain bikes. Rock Hopper. Gotta have that Huffy. How about that? What an obsession. This is just. The Murata, that was one of Schwinn's very first mountain bikes. Inexpensive. $279.95 that bike went for back in 1985 or 6 or something. All right, well, now we're in the basement. Check this place out. They're just lined up here. Got a Chinelli, 1980 Chinelli. Full Campagnolo, obviously, which they all were back in the day. Oscar Waston once said, if you put Japanese components on an Italian frame, he'll find me and shoot me. And uh, I can see why. This is beautiful. Great condition for the year. Got the 1R stem on there. And Nova Record throughout. Pretty cool. Well, guys, this place is fun. A lot of cool bikes. He was nice enough to hand me off some parts I need to finish up the, uh, the Atala. And a new bike I'm getting to be announced later. Yeah, okay, not exciting, but you'll like it. Well, guys, I'm here with Paul. I want to thank Paul for taking me through his collection. And it's a fine collection it is. Uh, actually, I met him years back. Uh, me and a friend of mine, uh, Jeff, came out to see him to get an eight-speed Varsity. And he had maybe, I don't know what, 50 bikes back then? If that. If that. And now he's got this. This is nuts. This is awesome. If you're ever in Elizabeth, Illinois, come by and take a look. He's open on Saturdays. Anything you'd like to add? No, come on by. It's a fun day. Awesome. Well, thanks so much for uh, your hospitality and your generosity with those brake blinkers. So, all right, till next time. You know what, guys? I got to admit, that collection was crazy. He had 750 bicycles and 15,000 square feet. Um, I'll never get there. I'm not looking to get there. That's just crazy. He also said some cool things. Like, he, he called it Bicycle, Bicycle Museum. He didn't want to call it Paul's Bicycle Museum just because... One day he may just pass it on. Uh, he doesn't care about the money. He doesn't care about how much things cost. A lot of the bikes were donated there. Uh, a lot of them he purchased. He fixes them up himself. I think he redoes two bikes a week. He goes, well, if you do that for 10 years, how many bikes do you have left? Because when I met him, we went, we, I guess we answered an ad. He used to sell bicycles. And he had a, a Schwinn Varsity 8-speed that made it for one year in 1960. Had 26-inch wheels as well. And Jeff Crittenden, the owner of the uh, three Paramounts that I bought, the uh, the 288s, the Anniversary Edition, and the 84, I purchased those, I purchased those from him. Uh, you know, years ago, he calls me up. He wanted to go on a trip. Went down to Galena, met this gentleman, saw his bicycle collection. He was fixing up these, you know, Huffies and stuff. Uh, and he goes, you know what, I was selling those bikes and I was very sad. I hate to see him go. Maybe because he put so much time and effort and energy into them. Uh, what's really neat about that place is just that he has a great array of bicycles. A lot of them that myself just personally don't have a lot of connection to. You know, kind of mid-end, low-end, you know, just kind of run-of-the-mill stuff. But at the same time, he had a lot of great stuff there. The Hetchins, the Chinellis, the Colnago, stuff like that. The vintage stuff that, you know, way beyond my, you know, my uh, realm of knowledge. So, hey, if you ever get to Elizabeth, Illinois, check that out. It's right on Route 20 uh, and away to Galena if you're in the Chicagoland area. Uh, it's really worth the trip. And uh, uh, our host, Paul, could not have been nicer. So uh, check that out. And guys, once again, please like and subscribe. Sorry you have not seen a lot of videos. During the summertime, I'm doing a lot of stuff with, uh, uh, with bicycle, you know, with riding. And also driving too. I get kind of uh, belong to an automotive, an automotive community where we get out and do some drives and things like that. Work also cranks up for me as well. So uh, hit that subscribe button. You're going to see a lot of videos coming soon. Uh, we're going to build the uh, green Paramount. We're going to build the uh, uh, black with the gold fork uh, Paramount. Um, I have another video coming out soon. We refurbed a bike for somebody. It's kind of fun. So, all right. Thanks so much for watching. We'll catch you next video.